If you're planning to finish or refinish your basement, I have both a warning and a recommendation. The recommendation is for one particular approach to finishing exterior basement walls that's fast, simple, warm, and highly mold resistant. The warning, on the other hand, is intended to stop you from building exterior basement walls in the same old traditional way that so many are done today, even by professionals. Stud frame walls with fiber-based bats between framing members is the way basements have been finished for many decades, but it's far from ideal in any basement, as proven by all those musty, moldy basements in the world. It does not have to be this way for you. The main challenge with basements is that moisture is an ever-present possibility, and I'm not just talking about liquid moisture leaks either. Chronic moisture vapor coming invisibly through concrete is more of a concern in most cases, and this is where foam insulation systems can make all the difference over fiber-based bats. Since 2018, I've taught hundreds of people how to finish basements properly with my online basement finishing course, and in all cases, I recommend some form of foam insulation, not bats, for exterior basement walls. Energy efficiency and greater resistance to mold and mildew are two reasons why foam is superior. And of all the foam-based basement insulation approaches out there, I have one particular favorite. DryCore SmartWall is a system of all-in-one floor-to-ceiling panels that combine three and three-quarter inch thick foam insulation and ready-to-paint drywall in the form of interlocking wall panels. SmartWall came out in 2015, and since then it's had three different foam colors, but product makeup and consistency has remained the same. Each panel is 21 and three-quarter inches wide and 96 inches tall, and these panels go up about three times faster than stick-framed stud walls, but speed is not the main reason I like this product. There are two other reasons. First, as I mentioned before, DryCore Smart Wall is much less susceptible to moisture damage because it doesn't actually touch foundation walls. Instead, each panel is anchored to one and a half inch by one and a half inch wood strips at floor and ceiling levels with panels themselves set back a small distance from masonry wall foundations. This is one feature alone that makes all the difference, and not just for moisture resistance. Many basement foundation walls aren't straight, but this fact is completely hidden by these panels because they don't fasten to the foundation at all. The second reason I recommend DryCore Smart Wall is because it takes much less skill to install than any stud frame wall, metal or wood. Simplicity makes the product perfect for DIYers, but even pros can appreciate when a task is made easier. These panels sidestep the need to cut wood or steel studs and plates, as when building frame walls, and that's quite an advantage if you have no experience of this kind. Since the drywall that's part of each DryCore smart wall panel is fully backed by rigid foam, it makes for a stronger and longer lasting wall than drywall supported only by a hollow stud frame. You can actually feel how rigid the panels are, even as they sit in a pile. Just give one a wrap with your knuckles and you'll see what I mean. There's no hollow wall feeling. It's really quite solid. There certainly are other options for using impervious foam to insulate a basement, but no others that I've seen come with a finished wall surface as part of the deal. The drywall on each DryCore Smart Wall panel has beveled edges that make pre-paint finishing easier. Just trowel a layer of Pro Patch filler compound into the beveled joints between neighboring panels after they're installed and you're done. No taping. No multiple coats of plaster over the tape. One quart of Patch Pro usually does about five smart wall panels. So how do you get pipes and wires through these panels? This is the first question many basement students usually ask when I mention smart wall, and there are two answers. First, each panel comes with horizontal and vertical channels cut through the foam for wires to be pushed through. Specific panels are also available with metal boxes already inserted into the panels for light switches or outlets. It's surprisingly easy to fall into the trap of finishing a basement in less than ideal ways, and even plenty of professionals aren't yet up to speed on the latest and best basement finishing materials and techniques. Smart wall panels are one innovative option that can give you a warmer, fresher, longer lasting, and better finished basement all around.